Yeah, I can put them out for you too. But check this out. This is my electric system that runs it. This is very nice. Actually, the voltage right now is 12.3, and we got 9.8 amps coming in from the solar. So the solar? That's excellent. Yeah. Where do you, uh, solar panels? I only got a few panels because there's no room up there. Yeah. But see this? Check this out. Watch. We're pulling minus, we're less than, you know, 10 amps or zero. 250 to 300 amps we're using. 500 watt halogens, there's six of them on right now around the truck. Oh man. The middle ones are on different switches in case the sides all have a problem. Mm -hmm. I have a still light on the side. The generator runs it, the inverter runs it. Mm. Isn't that oh, cool? Wing. I like this. This is the kind of stuff that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. I Don't built this happy. years ago, but I leave it open to show people what it takes to do it. This is for my central air. If I want to shut it down without going to the thermostat, I just turn off the 12 volts to it. And these are extra circuit I didn't need coming out of here. So this is like a legal RV. Mm -hmm. it's, it is, it's yeah. A utility truck. It drives people crazy. This is, this is actually the inside of Batman's utility belt, is this entire truck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I look here. Pretty much. This has a ramp that comes out so I can put a bike up like a, a street dirt gravel. You know, get old street dirt. Mm -hmm. Refrigerator, portable toilet, microwave, ice maker. This is how you brush your teeth at night, outside shower, mm. hot water heater, water, 61 gallons. Here's my pump. That's it. We're pressurized, ready to go. Bam. That's that quick. Amazing. That's a big 12,000 watt diesel commercial generator in the box. Surround sound TV. I sleep up on the upper bunk. My wife puts a mattress down, sleeps on the floor with the oh, kid. Yeah, I see that. Got Coca Cola in here. Do you? Yeah, it's cool. Damn. Yep. This is what we, this is what we were talking about. Yeah. I like and the it. cool thing is, I could put this ramp out about ten feet mm -hmm. and close the doors and have a bike on and have people standing mm -hmm. on it. So if I had to cross a short little mm -hmm. river, you can just I have could it just pull back it up to it and run on it over. And well, well, what we're gonna do is, I want to do a, I want to do a, a time lapse thing where, where, the, where the doors open themselves and a bunch of steam pumps. Oh, cool! I got twenty. Well, that's what has how you learn the hardware, right? Well, I dwarfed the truck into being from a mountain sleepover truck. You know, so it's like a like a team. Right? And then I want to get about uh, about ten people just to there you go. Jump up in there and sit in the seat. That's a control panel up there. Okay. Satellite telephone right in front of you that on the dash. GPS, Garmin Aviation GPS. Backup camera right there on the visor. Oh man. Not that one above, but the visor. Uh, right here. Yeah, if you pull that back, that's a backup camera. Yeah. <clears throat> Got a table that goes, you know, right behind you, and then that, that bit, seat comes down to a full bed. Oh, man. I can see the... Uh... You like it, Brent? I just redid the whole inside. I put these aluminum tracks to lift this off the ground. It had thick carpet all the way up to here. I, oh, that's man. how I built it, but I took it out. I, I painted the floor like this because Peter built like always... Peterbilt's always drip moisture through the windshield onto that board. Look, look at the corrosion right there. Mm -hmm. See that? See that right. circuit breaker? Yes. That's and not This good. isn't even attached. I, I disattached it because the, the, I have to kick it. I was in order stuck to in get Kansas. It to... I couldn't yeah. come home. I was in Kansas for four hours when I kicking it, pulling everyone out, cleaning them, put them back, then I could go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's finally. It's not for fuel. And, and it's not even like. Is that what you called it in the Duraliner? Oh, um, this one's called. Um, Oh, what's this brand? So that should help, right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, but it's not. It has no rust inhibitors, so on the roof it's rusting through, which pisses me off. And I use their primers and their everything. I'm, I'm not happy with the company. So uh, it's a, it's an English company. It's called. 